Hello Max Tubers, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to watch a video of Asia's Phoenix Miss Morissette Ammon performing the song Chandelier from her home as usual without any help from any professional studio equipment. At the same time, providing her own accompaniment by playing the keyboard. Before anything else, please don't forget to follow me on Instagram at max underscore two. Likewise, please subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos to get a chance to win prizes. For the full mechanics, I'm giving you the link above. Check it out. I got this video from the channel Queen Morissette Ammon. So as usual, if you want to watch the original video without any interruption, without my comments, please head to their channel. The link is provided in my description box. Alright, let's start! Party girls don't get hurt, can feel anything When will I learn? I push it down, I push it down I'm the one for a good time, call for blowing up Ringing my doorbell, I feel the love, feel the love As usual, we are listening to raw talent here, which I appreciate more because we are getting exactly what she is giving us. Nothing more, nothing less. Nothing to help her sound better. So it's like looking at an unfiltered Instagram photo. I just love it when she's acting all goofy and how she's just having fun, not taking this too seriously. Again, I feel like I'm with her in the same room watching her rehearse, not even perform. So in that way, it's kind of relaxing. Although we all know that there is nothing relaxing about this song. Would you listen to that? Beautiful, right? Wow. Just like what it says in the original title in the video, effortless. I really don't know how she does it. I guess with such a wide vocal range, it is easy for her to access different parts of it. And I'm telling you, not everyone can do that. Let's move on. She's using that sweet part of her voice here. I guess reserving the full strong head voice towards the end, I suppose. But it's good. I like it. Because that would give us something to look forward to later. She's not even giving us her performance level. She's just chilling. And I honestly think that she is concentrating more on uh, practicing her keyboard skills rather than singing. Because she knows she's got the singing part in the bag. It's like 
Since I'm playing, might as well sing along. Let's continue. Could not last long until morning light. Cause I'm just holding on for tonight. Help me, I'm holding on for tonight. Won't I hold down what I'm in my eyes. Keep my glass holding till morning light. Multitasking at its best. Playing the keyboard, singing, pressing her, is that a laptop or is that an iPad? I think it's a laptop. Making sure she's playing the right chords and of course sounding pitch perfect so far. Very nice runs, very stable low and mid notes. She's doing great, but that's no longer news to you, right? Let's go back. Quick question to anyone out there watching. What is that she just did with her watch like that? Comment down below. Wow. Just wow. Like I said earlier, the strong head voice has got to come out sometime in the song. And it just did. Not to mention her strong, solid belts. Listening to her piercing head voice, I'm starting to wonder if she can pull off Broadway songs like um, The Phantom of the Opera, something more classical. I would love to hear how she sounds in those kind of songs. So please do let me know if ever she does uh, these kind of songs. Again, giving us her nice, strong belts, transitioning smoothly to her head voice, and most importantly, retaining its power. Because oftentimes, when people shift from their chest to their head voice, the latter would sound significantly weaker, but not in her case. I also noticed a lot of growls in that one chorus, from the technical point of view, she did great. She was able to execute them extremely well, meaning she was able to control the growls and made each of them sound perfect. But for my personal taste, this is a subjective comment. I think she did a little bit too much. She did at least five growls in that short amount of time, but that's just me. I'm sure a lot of you out there are fine with that. To each his own. This part is perfect. Just the right amount of angst, then transitioning to a softer sound. Good dynamics, good projection, nothing overdone. I think we are about to reach the end of the song, so let's move forward. Oh. 
I actually like this performance better than her Wish Bus version. By the way, I just listened to uh, the Wish version minutes before filming this. In hindsight, I'm glad I never did a reaction video for that. Because in that performance, which I just watched earlier, I felt like her voice wasn't in tip-top condition. I heard some rasps that were not usually present in her voice in certain parts of her range. Don't get me wrong, she was able to hit all the notes in that video, but just not as solid as this one. And to think, she is not even giving us her performance level here. It seems like she was having an off day that day, which everyone experiences. So I can only imagine how she sounds like if she is giving her best with her usual voice condition coupled with an amazing sound system. So after this, I will try to listen to her other live performances of the same song. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. At the same time, feel free to share your thoughts down below at the comment section. Remember to keep your comments respectful at all times. We can choose to agree or disagree, but let us respect each other's points of view. With that, thank you all for watching and please don't forget to hit subscribe, the notification bell, watch and comment on my videos here in MaxQ. Stay safe and healthy everyone. Take care.